good morning dear students welcome to this uh, session on, on pre stressed concrete uh, last session we have talked about uh, the pressure line concept so we have uh, introduced uh, uh, the uh, pressure line what is pressure line and uh, how uh, you draw pressure line uh, for a for an example case of a simply supported beam uh, having uh, a pre stress of capital p and having a particular eccentricity something like h by 6 it is okay uh, this is the uh, last class discussion and uh, we have uh, made a point that uh, in case of rcc uh, when compared to psc there is a difference uh, in this behavior of internal uh, couple uh, generation and the resistance of uh, the external moment by the cross section there is a difference between rcc and psc so we have made a point that in pre stressed concrete uh, member uh, if you increase the bending moment the internal forces will be constant only the lever arm is going to you no know, change uh, to increase the moment so the the tensile force and the compressive force both are constants in case of pre stress concrete only depending on the value of bending moment the lever arm is going to change okay so that is a point in case of pre stress concrete whereas in case of rcc the lever arm is fixed uh, accordingly and uh, the uh, tensile force and the compressive forces are going to increase uh, uh, to uh, resist the moment value that is being changed okay so this is a change uh, very simple to you know uh, if, if you put it in a simple term in case of rcc uh, to resist you know higher moments the value of compressive force and tensile force are going to increase whereas the lever arm small a is fixed value whereas in case of pre stress concrete the compressive force and tensile force developed in the cross section are constant whereas small a is a variable it will change okay lever arm is going to change so this is what uh, basically that that we will see in in terms of a you know diagram okay so how it is going to be so take a case of a uh, reinforced concrete member and pre stressed concrete member okay so uh, to the left of the screen you have rcc uh, beam uh, to the right of the screen you have pre stressed concrete beam so for a load case of zero loads uh, acting on the rcc for example there is no load at all okay just zero load so the moment is zero okay uh, to resist there is nothing to resist because there is no load at all okay let us uh, take that case first in case of rcc when bending moment is zero then there is no need for compressive force and tensile force which means this complete uh, rcc beam is under zero stress okay got it so this is the case now the, the very counterpart here if you see in case of psc this is this is what we are talking about rcc okay now, whereas pre stress concrete member if you see right this is a tendon is a tendon profile 
and this is anyhow the CG of the concrete. So the tendon will have tensile force, which is already, uh, you know, in, induced in the tendon. There will be some tensile force in the tendon. So that will create compressive stress in the concrete member. So there is, even though there is no load, okay, so compression will have a CG line matching with the CG of the tensile force. So the, wherever there is a tensile force, the CG of compression also match with that. So there, uh, there won't be any liveram value. Liveram is zero. Okay. Here the liveram is zero. Whereas uh, tensile force is there and compressive force is also there. Okay. T is equal to pre-stressing force value, and the same value is compressive force also. So whatever you have uh, created the force by pulling the tendon, say for example, if you applied 1000 kilonewtons to pull the tendon, that 1000 is the tensile force and that is equal to C. Liveram is zero, so bending moment is zero because M is equal to P into A. Okay, so A is 0, so bending moment is 0. Whereas compared to this case, this one, you have A value, bending moment is equal to here, either T into A or C into A, both are same. A is not 0, A is there because there is a steel bars kept here, HOSD bars are placed in the beam at the bottom. And compressive force, uh, I mean, the CG of compression uh, is somewhere here. So, Livram is fixed. Okay. In the tensile zone, uh, no, you will you will neglect the resistance from concrete. So, your CG will always be uh, falling above this line. Okay. Your CG will be above this line uh, almost for all cases. So, the CG of this cross section somewhere here, that is the, uh, the location of compressive force. Though the force is zero, A is there. Because of T zero, bending moment is zero here. Whereas in this case of pre-stress concrete, as A is zero, bending moment is zero. Okay, because A is zero. Livram is not there, right? Now, take a case of where there is a dead load and live load acting. Okay, Q, G plus Q, and G plus Q. So, dead load and live load means both self weight and the, the live load value is acting now. Okay, so as the loads have come. So there will be some bending moment in the beam. Say for example, uh, at center cross section, it is WL square by eight, the value, okay. So there is now bending moment value. So to resist that uh, as A is fixed, you need to have some compressive force and tensile force. Okay, A is already there. So T value shall be now develop accordingly so that this t into a is equal to the wl square by 8 value now coming to this case wl square by 8 is the bending moment now which is equal to p into a where p is already there fixed value because you have already uh, pulled the tendon by jerking and then uh, you have anchored it and the force is uh, is there in the tendon and that is a fixed value. So P is already there. Now to match with this value, to, to develop this much moment, A should change. Okay, P is fixed. So A shall have not a zero value. You need to have some value. 
So now the compressive force which was here earlier, now the compressive force has to move upward so that A value shall be created. Okay. So how much it has to move to develop this much value of bending moment? If this is lesser value to be created, bending moment if it is less, A should be less. Okay. If uh, bending moment value uh, is to be created higher value, then A should have more value. So Livram should be more. So compressive force shall be shifting from tensile force away from tensile force. Okay. So that is how uh, the load uh, will be carried by the cross section. So this is what is a clear picture of uh, load carrying mechanism uh, between uh, the uh, RCC and the stressed concrete member. So this is uh, how uh, the you know uh, the explanation goes on and uh, this is also the diagrammatic representation for you know, developing a formula for finding stresses. Okay. So, bending moment is equal to compression into liveram or tensile force into liveram. That is nothing but uh, both are equal to pre stressing force P in the tandem. Okay. So, P into A. A is the liveram. So, A is equal to bending moment at the cross section divided by P will give you liveram value. What is meant by liveram? It is the distance of the CG of compression from the tendon location. Okay, from tendon, uh, at what distance the uh, CG of compressive stress is there, right? Okay, now uh, if you can locate this as E dash, the E and E dash, you, you, you have to now uh, clearly you know, uh, differentiate between ascent city and e dash value so ascent city means the uh, location of tendon from cg of concrete okay got it cg of cross section right now, what is e dash the distance of uh, cg of compression from cg of cross section okay so this is cg of cross section from this location CG of compression is this much distance, so E dash. What is A, E plus E dash, okay? So what is E dash value? A minus E, okay? So shift of the pressure line measured from CG of the beam cross section is E dash, okay? This is the uh, E dash value to find, okay? Right. What is A? You substitute for A. This is M by P minus E. Okay. That's M by P minus E. What is A value? It is M by P. Right. Now, to find stresses with this concept of pressure line. Okay. So, now you have uh, a force acting at E dash location, which is equal to T. Okay. C is equal to T anyhow. So instead of writing the formula uh, based on this tensile force, now you write the formula based on this uh, compressive force, resultant compression. Okay. Uh, now you see this is P by A. Okay. And P E dash by Z top. Now what? Plus symbol is used for top. Okay. Uh, you have to uh, be very careful here. So we are uh, writing the formula for finding stresses uh, based on the uh, you know, thrust line concept, pressure line concept. Okay. Now this is the location of compression. So if you locate all such uh, locations for all cross sections and join, that is nothing but uh, pressure line or uh, C line, what you say. Okay. So that is at E dash distance from here. So now if you, uh, you have a force like this, so that 
uh, if you want to convert uh, into the formula for finding stresses, what we will do is shift that force, just the same concept. Uh, there is a force here of something like called C, which is equal to P. So if you want to shift it to the center, you need two equal and opposite forces, which is C and C here. So this is what we want for finding stress. So that becomes axial stress, C by A. And remaining is what this is E dash. Okay, right. This is a moment of this nature, like, okay, this moment uh, of C into E dash of anti-clockwise. Okay, so something like this. Okay, so what is happening now? There, there is something like this moment of this nature so this is something like this what is going to happen to the cross section is going to sag okay so this is going to sag means what top compression bottom tension okay so top compression in the sense you write the stress from direct stress and bending Bending stresses are top or compression. That's why we are using plus symbol. Okay. So now you have the stress value. Direct stress is P by A. Because of that uh, force acting at center, right? You have shifted the force from uh, E dash distance to the center. So what it has become a force and a moment. Okay. That is uh, P e dash is the moment now okay p into e dash okay got it so earlier formula uh, before the thrust line concept we have used p into e that is only due to pre-stressing force moment due to only pre-stressing force now what it is because of pre-stressing force and the loads all that resultant uh, is now you are putting into this uh, thrust line concept that is pressure line okay so resultant value is here now okay so that we are using so there is no need of a lengthy formula uh, like uh, p by a minus uh, p e by z plus m g plus m q all that is now eliminated and only just two terms like plus now this is how you get the formula plus here and minus here p e dash by z p e dash by z okay if if uh, the z t is equal to z b right you see top it is plus and plus this is full plus uh, because compressive force will create compressive stress axial compression as bending is going to create top compression bottom tension so bottom stresses are minus top stresses we use plus so this is the concept of pressure line ultimately uh, our aim is to find stress at top and stress at bottom and plot the stress across the cross section okay so final stresses if you draw a final stress diagram this is equal to final stress diagram so we will have again uh, uh, three uh, uh, possibilities this positive value may be uh, more than this negative value so you will have plus at bottom and plus anyhow at top plus and plus will be plus anyhow at top and the other option if these are equal what happens this becomes zero another option if negative values are more, what happens is this will be something like this. Okay. So there are three such options based on these values, positive value and negative value. Okay. So this is how the final uh, stresses are to be found using pressure line concept. So when you want to use pressure line concept, you need E dash value. If you want E dash, you need A value. So to find A, you have m by p is the formula so this is a final uh, to simplified way of understanding this 
pressure line concept okay so th this is very no uh, similar to the earlier formula like p by a plus p e by z plus mg by z plus mq by z all that now all those are being incorporated into this e dash okay what is e dash location of thrust line from cg of the cross section or pressure line thrust line c line likewise many names okay so this is how we you know uh, use the formula to find finally the stresses at top and bottom of the uh, cross section in a pre stressed member okay right thank you